Yvonne, how disruptive will the latest case at the Capitol be for China's Olympics plans? Well, they haven't said much about their Olympic plans just yet. It was just last week when they said that they still vow to host a safe, splendid, uh, and simple Olympic Games here, in contrast to the spectacle that was the Beijing Summer Olympics back in 2008. They did mention, though, if they do get large-scale infections within these high-concentration sports zones, that is what may force them to actually adjust a bit here. But they did say the current restrictions so far are effective in containing Omicron. You mentioned about the first case in Beijing. Uh, what we know so far is that there are testing people uh, that were close contacts of this person, also that visited locations uh, that uh, that person also visited as well. And this is not just Beijing. Over the weekend, we did hear of Omicron cases being detected in big cities like Shanghai, Guangdong province as well. So this is spreading here, but so far we are just seeing a handful of cases. The latest in Beijing, though, it is another sign, another headache uh, for the Beijing Olympic Games just three weeks uh, before, as you mentioned here. And this is already a game that is being facing a lot of headwinds, including that U.S.-led diplomatic boycott. And it's prompted a policymakers, the state economic planner over the weekend, uh, vowing to boost consumption ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday. So they're encouraging people to go out. They said, look, if you are in a low risk area, you're still going to be able to have some mobility to do some normal activities. They're prompting people. They want people, encouraging people, I should say, to actually go online shopping, do some more e-commerce and go on these online entertainment channels as well. They're saying that this is their kind of push uh, during Lunar New Year to try to at least get people to, 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 to do something and boost the economy in a way as you talk about those GDP figures coming up. And it's all sort of this sort of tweak that they're doing with COVID zero. It's not so much a big tweak, I would say, but it is something called dynamic clearing, which is a buzzword that we're hearing in China now, where they are making more of these restrictions localized, focusing on cities that are dealing with these outbreaks so that the rest of the country can still operate in a pretty normal manner here. Xi'an certainly is that example and, and taking the bullet uh, for the country at the moment. But that certainly is the, the statement that, and, and the direction that China is going at the moment.